watching Let's Chat. Good morning and welcome back. Our attorney friend Gary Massey from Massey Attorneys joining us here to help us navigate through these uncharted legal waters as it pertains to the coronavirus outbreak. Gary, good morning. Good morning. Several different emails have come our way and I'm gonna send this one on to you. Dear Gary, if I have an employment contract, can my employer still lay me off? And if they do, do they have to continue to pay me? Sure. Well, in, anytime you talk about an employment contract, Chip, you're talking about specific language, and it really depends on what the specific language of that contract says. But in generally, the answer is if they lay you off, they still have to pay you as long as it's not anything that you did wrong. And so if there's a downturn in their business or the economy closes or something like that, then normally they would still be required to pay you. The exception to that would be if there's some provision in the contract that deals with government shutdowns or you know, global emergencies or state emergencies or something of that nature, then there might be a provision that would address it. But the general rule of thumb would be they still have to pay you. Of course, employees are required to try to mitigate their damage, which means trying to get, you know, trying to get a job or make money uh, during the term of the contract. But generally, the employer would still be required to pay. All right, we're going to shift gears here a moment, Gary. Tell me how this pandemic has affected the legal system. Obviously, the courthouses are closed, and I'm sure there are other effects that this is having. Fill us in on that. Well, it's having a dramatic impact, un unlike anything I've ever seen, Chip. And at our firm, we saw this coming a few weeks in advance. And so we, you know, we got our computer systems ready and so that everybody is working from home. So for our office, we're working, you know, full blast. But the courthouses are not closed, but nobody is having in-court appearances except for very limited uh, situations. Most things are being done by phone. All of the, of the deadlines have been told. The Supreme Court has put down two different orders, and the current order ex uh, extends all of the statutes of limitation and other deadlines through at least May the 6th. And so, uh, you know, we were seeing some defense attorneys on our cases trying to take advantage of that and, and refusing to do things under old deadlines and trying to take advantage of the new deadlines, even though it doesn't require an in-court appearance. But, you know, it's having a dramatic impact. It's slowing everything down, and I'm worried it's going to create a serious backlog after business as normal hopefully resumes in the in the near future. Hopefully you're right and it will be the near future. Now we're hearing of stories of a lot of folks who are unable to pay the rent. They're having to choose between eating and a roof over their head. Can landlords evict folks if they're unable to pay their rent in full? Um, it, that, that's an, it's an interesting question uh, and the answer that I would give to people is uh, choose to eat um, but there is, a, there is a provision in the order from the Supreme Court that is delaying all eviction proceedings. And so the answer to the question is yes, but. But it's going to take the landlord a lot longer than normal because the landlord is not going to be able to get a hearing in front of a judge to get the, uh, the eviction order, the order to the sheriff to move somebody out of, a, out of a place. And so just because the landlord tells a tenant to move, that doesn't mean the tenant has to move right away. The landlord still has to go to court and get a court order right. telling the tenant to get out. And so that going to court and getting that court order is going to take a lot longer, which is going to you know, be in the tenant's short-term benefit of giving them more time before they have to have another place to go. It does seem like landlords and employers are somewhat, and not all, but some seemingly are taking advantage of this coronavirus outbreak, the pandemic, to make things a little bit easier on themselves. And anyway, there are a lot of things that we as citizens have legal rights to, and Gary Massey is the guy that can tell us all about that. If you wanna get in touch with Gary, it's easy to do. They're only a mouse click away. The website is MasseyAttorneys.com. Again, MasseyAttorneys.com. Gary, thank you very much. My pleasure. We'll talk to Gary Massey next week, and we are back with more after this.